The Barbary pirates were notorious raiders who plagued the Mediterranean for three centuries. They would attack ships, steal cargo, and sell the crews into bondage. Surprisingly, despite the European naval powers being well aware of the problem, none of them took decisive action against the pirates. It wasn't until the early 19th century that the Barbary pirates were finally dealt with, and it was the young United States, just around 30 years old at that time, leading the charge. This raises the question of why the United States took the initiative instead of countries like France or Spain. During the late 18th century, the Barbary pirates operated from North African states, with Algiers being the most notorious. The European naval powers had previously found that engaging in direct conflict with the pirates required significant effort, so they devised a strategy of paying them off. Though expensive, paying the pirates was still more cost-effective than going to war. For Britain, in particular, this strategy formed a cornerstone of their naval approach in the region. Britain paid a considerable sum of money to the pirates, leading other states to pay more as well. Smaller states like Genoa or Sicily struggled to afford the payments, making them reliant on British shipping. However, when the United States declared independence in 1776, they no longer benefited from the protection that Britain had paid for. Consequently, over the next 25 years, numerous U.S. vessels were attacked, and the cost of paying off the pirates became exorbitant for the young nation. It was evident that a new approach was needed, and so the United States decided to employ their navy in 1801. Together with Sweden, they declared war on the Barbary states. Although they weren't the first to take military action, as Spain had tried unsuccessfully in the 1780s, the American strategy primarily relied on blockades and bombardments of pirate ports. Eventually, the United States adopted a more strategic approach, cooperating with the former deposed ruler of Tripoli. With his help, they marched into Tripolitania and forced its current ruler to make peace to avoid potential civil war. The terms of the peace agreement were not ideal for the U.S., as they agreed to pay Tripoli a substantial sum in return for the release of American prisoners and the safe passage of American shipping. Unfortunately, the safe passage didn't last long, especially during the War of 1812 when the British encouraged the Barbary states to increase their attacks on American shipping. After the War of 1812, the U.S. government decided to deal with the piracy issue decisively. They sent more ships with more firepower to send a clear message. They hunted down the pirates in Algiers and demanded they stop raiding American shipping, threatening to destroy their rulers if they didn't comply. The Barbary states agreed, and the pirates stopped targeting American ships. This victory had a significant impact. Other naval powers realized they didn't have to tolerate the Barbary pirates either, and with the major powers no longer fighting each other, they united in their determination to end the piracy problem. The British were the first to take action, bombarding Algiers as punishment for piracy. Finally, in the 1830s, France annexed Algiers and took control of its port, bringing an end to Barbary raiding once and for all. I hope you found this historical episode informative and engaging. Special thanks to my patrons who support this content and make it possible.